have you seen these cool action toy AI images that are popping up all over social media? I'm gonna show you how to make one of yourself without having to spend a single dime using chat GPT. <laughs> Tech it before you rack it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk here in the home office because I want to give you a cool demo. If you've never used AI before, this is a good initiation. We're going to create one of those cool action figure toy images using your photo. It's so easy. It doesn't cost a dime. You can use a free chat GPT account. In fact, that's what I'm going to be using for this demo. First things first, you could do this on your phone if you prefer. I'm going to do it on the computer simply because that's what I have in front of me, but the process is pretty much the same. So let me bring up the browser window that I've got loaded into chat GPT. Again, this is a free account. In fact, I just created this account for the sake of demonstration so that you could see exactly what you're going to see when you do this yourself. You do need a picture of yourself. That's what chat GPT is going to use to base this action figure off of. So uh, what you got to do is hit the plus button here by the prompt window, hit upload from computer. And this is a picture you can see I just took this a couple of minutes ago. I'll select that and it'll add that to my prompt. So now we want to tell chat ChatGPT exactly what we want to do with this photo. So here's an example of a prompt you could use for this. And keep in mind, you can do anything you want. You can type in whatever you want and play around with this. So really, don't feel like you have to do the exact wording that I did, although you can, and I'll put this prompt down in the description for you. But if you want to try other things, feel free to do that. Use this image to create a picture of a action figure toy of a construction worker with in a blister package from head to toe with accessories including a hammer a staple gun and a ladder now i said from head to toe because the picture of me doesn't include my feet and i want to make sure that it knows that i want to see the entire thing let's tell it now what we want that package to say the package should read kirk the handyman okay so Look at this prompt. You can see again, I was pretty explicit, but you can add more detail. You can say what color you want the clothing to be, what color you want the hair to be. I'm gonna keep it very simple for the sake of demonstrations. And then, like I said, I'll show you how to kind of rework this prompt if it doesn't give you exactly what you want. So once we've got the photo and the prompt in there, I wanna go ahead and hit the submit button and send that over to ChatGPT. And now it's going to do its work. This can take some time. I've seen this take up to two or three minutes. Sometimes it happens in 20 or 30 seconds. And there it is. How cool is that and how easy was that? And it pretty much did exactly what I wanted it to do. Look at the words on the top, Kirk the Handyman. It's got a picture of me, although I would argue that looks a little bit older than me. Uh, we've got a staple gun, we've got a hammer, and we've got a ladder. Now, I told you I was gonna show you how to modify this if we didn't like what we got. And I do like this for the most part, but let's say that I wanna make this guy look a little bit younger. So I can say, make the toy look about five years younger and add what else should we add another accessory of a screwdriver so you've got to remember you can talk to chat gpt or ai in very human kind of sentences as if you're talking to an employee or, or somebody who's doing work for you you just tell it what you want and it really figures out kind of the, the the intricacies of what you might be asking for. So all I say is make the toy look about five years younger and add another accessory of a screwdriver. So hopefully it should modify what my face looks like here and then add that additional accessory, which I'm just adding for the sake of demonstration. But you know, this is a way you can change colors, you can change wording. If something just looks weird, you could kind of ask it to rework that or redo that. It's pretty amazing how easy it is to modify things that chat GPT generated when it doesn't fit your needs and voila there we go check this out guys it did exactly what i asked it to do see how easy that is to modify it it didn't really change the overall look but it made the person look younger i would argue maybe a little bit too <laughs> younger i need to split the difference and then it added a screwdriver just like i asked and i love the fact that the rest of the image pretty much stayed the same the packaging is the same although a little bit of a different shade of yellow the ladder the staple gun the hammer the actual clothing most of it's exactly the same this 
this one looks like maybe my dad, and this one looks like maybe my kid. So I really need to split the difference, and I can play around with it, generate some more images, but I thought that you'd enjoy a demo of that to see exactly how you do that. And do keep in mind, I edited this video for time. Those were taking three, four minutes to generate. It may be faster. A lot of it, I think, depends on the time of the day, how much computing power is being used right now. I'm recording this video in prime time, 10 o'clock East Coast time right now. So I imagine a lot of people are in chat GPT right now. And again, try this on your phone. It works exactly the same in the chat GPT app on your phone. You're going to have limits if you're on a free account, but you can see I just generated those images on a free account with no issues at all. And I can't wait to hear in the comments how this worked for you. Did you get the results you wanted? Did you, did you get a cool picture? Were you able to share it on social media? Of course, subscribe to my channel, guys. I've got a lot more cool tech demos, geeky unboxings, all kinds of cool geeky stuff here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.